Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. The past couple of weeks has been full of a lot of pretty big announcements and reveals for season two and new updates coming to Warzone DMZ and Modern Warfare 2. Now, admittedly, the majority of these updates and the majority of these reveals that we've heard about so far are in regards to Warzone primarily and a bit of DMZ as well. Obviously, we've got quite a bit of uh, changes coming there with the player progression wipe. We've got, uh, obviously, Ashika Island coming for both games there. There's a lot of stuff happening in our free-to-play modes. Multiplayer, on the other hand, really hasn't had much going for it so far. They revealed a few details here and there in their initial blog talking about how there's going to be weapon balancing. We'll see some audio updates. But I see you guys every single day in the comments over on Twitter, whatever the case may be, saying, Zach, what's new for multiplayer? Do we know if we're getting new MP content? What are going to be the uh, the new maps? You know, have we heard anything there? And up until this point, we don't have any major multiplayer reveals. That said, we know one is coming up here in the next few days. But with that reveal, it also appears that there is some more bad news. I feel like it's every time we're talking about Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer updates, it's some hopeful stuff, but then right alongside that, it's some bummer stuff, some stuff that's really not all that fun to hear. But uh, getting into this right away here, Charlie Until initially tweeted saying the full roadmap for season two, which of course is going to feature all the new weapons, the operators, the modes, the maps, uh, all changes obviously for Warzone 2 and DMZ as well, along with all info on multiplayer content is coming on February 8th per the Call of Duty blog. Now the blog has, uh, you know, previously detailed that February 8th would be a major reveal day for a lot of the season two updates as well. And basically Charlie Intel, Charles Intelligence is confirming here that this is going to include the roadmap for season two, which obviously is where we get the majority of our content updates and probably a more expansive blog detailing some of the multiplayer updates and changes and whatnot, similar to what we've had with Warzone 2 and DMZ and Ashika Island here in the past couple of weeks. So we know the multiplayer reveal is coming. We're all sort of sitting here waiting not so patiently, I would say. I see some of you guys in the comments. You're not happy about it, and that's understandable. Uh, so we know that that date and that reveal is coming up here soon. That said, we should probably temper our expectations when it comes to this reveal because Charles Intelligence did reveal some other apparently inside information that he's heard via his sources. So somebody asked uh, Charlie Intel on that tweet talking about the roadmap if we would see gunfight returning here with season two obviously there's been a lot of leaks and a lot of rumors for the gunfight mode and charlie intel simply responded no now obviously very simple straightforward answer but charlie intel does not tweet uncertainty if there is uncertainty they preface it as a rumor as a leak if they are tweeting direct statements it's because they have heard things via very credible inside sources whether that's from activision or other insider uh you know people in the industry so while we do have plenty of leaks we've talked about them here on the channel in the past with uh, plunder in Warzone. Maybe it's also heist in multiplayer because there was kind of some confusion with the actual game mode icon there. Whether it is cranked for multiplayer where you have to keep on moving with that timer, otherwise you combust. Uh, whether it is one in the chamber or gun game or gunfight, these are all different mode icons that have been updated in the files in the recent weeks and after the recent updates, meaning they are close to releasing. It would appear that at least gunfight here is not going to be in the rotation for season two and part of that is understandable and i think it's largely because of the sheer amount of content that has to come alongside gunfight as well obviously every single season of multiplayer is relatively standard we get those three to four new operators three to five new weapons a uh, new raid likely in the mid-season update uh, a couple of new maps one two three maybe sometimes if we're lucky hopefully some new maps not just remasters here and there and that's pretty much it right and also a couple of modes as well that's a standard thing so while we are probably going to see a lot of that and we'll know for sure here on the 8th with gunfight, it's kind of different. Like, obviously, you can introduce one in the chamber and play it on all the standard 6v6 maps. You can introduce cranked and play it on all the standard 6v6 maps. Gunfight, though, has to have its own individual maps. And knowing Call of Duty, they're probably not going to just launch a mode like that with two playable maps. I think MW 2019 launched with four or five, somewhere around that mark. There was a decent map pool uh, specifically for gunfight. 
same deal in cold war when it dropped there uh champions hill i think what was what it was called in vanguard that also had a few dedicated maps as well so with gunfight being just a new bonus mode right it's simple there but then you got to factor in it has so much mode specific content that they also have to include and perhaps they're looking at this like okay we got to make this game last and with season two we're going to do our standard stuff maybe mid-season update maybe uh season three then we can have a lot of focus on gunfight since that's also going to bring in so much other additional content in terms of maps and that gameplay experience that's different than 6v6 either way though still a bummer that it does not appear gunfight is going to be returning in season two that said, I want to focus on a few more of the confirmed updates so far than also what we could end up seeing sort of inadvertently here in multiplayer because of some changes in Warzone that just so happens to have to do with maps, right? Real quick, before we get into that, just a reminder, if you are new to the channel every single day, I got you covered with all things going on in COD. So if you want to stay up to date with all that stuff, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And if you guys do enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like on it as well. It would be seriously appreciated and it does really help the channel grow. So when it comes to maps, obviously that's been a controversial topic here in MW2 because we haven't seen many new ones. Uh, you know, subjectively here, we haven't seen many good ones, uh, depending on which maps you enjoy playing for 6v6 or for ground war but it just so happens that within warzone season 2 and dmz season 2 they actually confirmed that the satik caves area where afghan is located is going to be getting a new update to have some kind of plane crash now of course on the og afghan from mw2 there was a plane crash right in the center that's not currently there in warzone so they're basically just adding this to make it a full-on replica and remaster of Afghan from MW2 2009. And along with that, you know, if we're getting this Afghan update in Warzone 2, personally, I feel like that'd be a good time to say, hey, also Afghan gonna go live in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer as well. In fact, on Almaz right now, we also have several other OG MW2 maps. Rust is there, uh, Quarry is there, Terminal is there to name a few. And while we have heard all the leaks and rumors saying that the year two updates going to include all these major MW2 uh, 2009 remaster maps and stuff like that, I feel like, you know, MW2 2022 would be better off adding in some of these maps periodically rather than waiting till year two and hoping you still have that super active player base around at that point because the content has been so lackluster leading up to now so maybe something to be on the lookout for if we're getting some mw2 og updates in almazra perhaps they'll eventually come into multiplayer as well here and we can sort of relive that nostalgia if you will the last thing I want to focus on here real quick, though, in regards to the multiplayer update is just a few of the other things that they did confirm in the initial blog that we can be on the lookout for with the reveal here as well. They did confirm that there's going to be a Valentine's Day playlist update, so that'll be happening here soon. No word on if it's going to be like an actual full on event. Obviously, we've had a lot of those between Vanguard, Cold War and MW 2019, where it was like an actual on menu event. There were specific rewards for it. I think it'd be cool to see those return just for a bit of extra content. They also say they're going to be detailing the new multiplayer modes, so we've got that to look out for. That'll confirm whether it's cranked, gun game, whatever the case may be. And we know that within Season 2, continuing on throughout the rest of the year, once a month, we are going to have a chance to vote on the playlist for any given week. So that'll be pretty exciting. So we can guarantee that it's going to be shoot house or shipment or shoot the ship, basically. But that being said, that is going to wrap things up for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it would be really appreciated. And if you guys are new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Join us on the road to 1 million subscribers so you can always stay up to date with everything going on in Call of Duty. And as always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL for a spicy discount on all SCUF, G Fuel, Gamer Advantage, and Control Freak products. And the links for all those can be found down in the description below. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.